In this lesson, I'm going to go through some of the commonly used things on the file menu. So if you go to the file, click on it, you notice a lot of them are grayed out because we don't have a document open. So let's open a document. Let's open the sunflower. And some of these we've already used, but I'm going to show you some different ones. All right. So new, obviously we've gone through that. Um, you're creating a new document that's blank, the width, the height, the resolution, we've gone through that. Open, we've gone through that. Browse is the same as hitting Adobe Bridge. It takes you to the same exact place. See? All right. open as. You can om open it as uh, a Photoshop file from a previous version, as a TIFF, basically a lot of different formats you can take um, an image and open it as. So you're familiar with that probably with other programs. Alright, open a smart object. Open recent, you're used to that, seeing that in other programs. Uh, close, obviously. Close and go to bridge. Save as. You'll be using this a lot when you're um, finished with a project. What you want to save it as, a JPEG. Um, and a lot of different options as far as saving projects. Alright. Place. This is one I wanted to show you specifically. Remember how before what we did is we would drag, we would open two different documents and we would drag one to the other and that would merge the two as separate layers. Well this is another way to do that that may be quicker. You click place and we already have the sunflower open. So let's say we wanted to import the fish. Double click on that and now it's added the fish as a separate layer on top. Obviously, uh, the bottom layer is truly on the bottom and every other layer is stacked on top of it. So fish is on the top, so we could move uh, the flower. Ah, sorry, I forgot to say. This, this uh, free transform that comes up over whatever you've placed. So you're given a lot of different options as far as how big it, the the layer that you placed on top of this layer, what size you want it and shape, and you can right click, um, scale, rotate, skew, warp, rotate it, flip it, do whatever you want with it, and then once you have it how you want, you'd hit enter, and now we can rearrange the layers if we wanted to. Now it's behind sunflower and you can't see it at all. So just for kicks, let's free transform it again. I right clicked when I did that. And I want to make it very thin and long. Maybe like so. And being that it has some nice blues in it, I'm going to change the opacity. So let me grab this, bring it up here. And now, I'm going to take the opacity and start to move it down. See? Now the blue in the background is, is coming through. Alright, so there's one under File and Place that you're going to probably use a lot.